Hey everybody, in this video I want to show you Letter Glow. It's this app right here and it's a pretty cool app. It allows you just like Over, the Over app or Fonto um, or Word Swag, you can use this app to create all sorts of different um, you know images for social media. And so what's nice about this is they recently did an update which allows them to have projects uh, which are like templates. So you can you can set up a template and then you can save it and be able to come in here and open it back up. You can duplicate a template, you can rename it, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go uh, start a new one here, new project. And it allows you to set a background from uh, the cloud. You can do it from your camera roll, etc. I'm gonna actually select one from a folder that I already have. Let's see here, template. And I have a bunch of just basic backgrounds in here that I've saved to my camera roll. We're gonna go ahead and use this paper one. The cool thing about this is it allows you to crop automatically based on what you're looking for. So if you want a one by one uh, Instagram ratio, we're gonna go ahead and select that, we'll hit apply. So now we have a nice paper background and you'll see at the bottom here, you have different layers. So this is like a layers panel. So right now we don't have any layers because we just have the background, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus symbol here in the middle, and then you can add a graphic or some text. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some text. So you can go ahead and type here, I'm like, this is a test. And right from here, you can either hit done or you can change fonts to something else. And the cool thing about this too is this three little dots. If you tap that, you can see all these other fonts that are in here and you can turn them on or off depending on what you're looking for. And you can also install fonts from iCloud Drive or Dropbox. And they have to be in the uh, true type font or the open type font uh, format. And so there you go, you can go in there, you can mess with fonts. We're gonna go ahead and leave it that way. You can do a left uh, alignment, center, um, or right. And then we'll go ahead and just do that. We're gonna look at the bottom uh, menu there. You can see that you can change colors. So if I just go over here, I can select a nice, you know, maroon color. And you can mess with the opacity if you want it to be, you know, a little see-through there. And then you have drop shadow. You can move it if you want to do it incrementally, small little moves. You can do that, or you can just pick it up. It has these these guides, which are really nice. So if you want to find exact center, it gives you those lines, there's, there's exact center. You can also mess with the bounding box. So if I make the bounding box smaller, you can see that it'll adjust the, uh, the text as well. So you have a lot of options here. You can do some rotating, again, alignment. You can make more spacing in between the letters or less by bumping it up there. We'll go ahead and do that. And uh, then if you want to get rid of the layer, you can just hit that red trash icon. And then you can also lock uh, you know, the different layers so that it, they can't be moved, which is pretty nice. And again, if you were to come over to the layers panel, you can see that you can move them up and down with that little thing on the right, or you can tap the little uh, three dots on the left, and you can duplicate the layer. This is pretty cool, because then if you, if you want to, uh, you can, uh, see I have, I have two there, and you can uh, tap this little thing on the bottom, the very, very bottom, and go back over to your layers, and you can save it as a draft, so if I hit yes, you'll see that now I have this as a draft and I can open it back up, make some changes to it. If I wanted to duplicate it, I could. If I click on the layers here, I can select a layer and you can move them uh, you know, up or down depending on what you're trying to do. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. I'm gonna go all the way to the right and then I'm gonna delete it. So from here, you can add graphics. You can, you can do more things to it. You can do some cropping. Um, you can play around with uh, some pretty cool stuff. And what I like about this on the far left, this little icon there, is you can choose to replace an image. That's pretty huge because if, say I want to replace this with something else, I don't want that uh, paper background. We're going to go ahead and use template and we're going to select this one right here. Bam, it, it replaces it. Look how cool that is. So if you have a, a design that you really like and you just want to quickly swap out the background, this app is great for that. So anyway, when you're done, you can just tap on, you know, off of the uh, off the text or something, just to tap the background. And then you can see that bottom uh, icon on the bottom right, you can tap that and then you can just save it to your photo uh, gallery or your, your camera roll, or you can send it to social media. 
So it's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and save that to our camera roll. So now you can just upload it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. If you don't want to use the ones right here. So anyway, that is, uh, this, that's this app letter glow. It's a, uh, it's a pretty awesome app and, uh, I think you'll like it. So, uh, you can click on the link in my description below to, uh, download the app and go right to the app store. And, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.